Marcus over here. Hi guys, it's Nadia from the Afternoon Drive. Hi guys, my name is Marnie. What's up children of the corn? Hey guys, what's up? It's Nick Hammond here. Hey, what's up? It is Stephanie B here. Hi guys, it's me, Sureshni Ryder from the Roger Good Show on 5FM. Hey there, all you cool cats and kittens. <laughs> Please ignore my hair. It's locked down. I don't know what's happening. I thought that during this lockdown, there's no reason why we shouldn't be living our best lives. And I thought I'd share some hot top tips uh, on how you can have an affordable, flawless makeup transformation. This is going to be very interesting. We're doing a tutorial following um, Nikki tutorials, actually, um, for a uh, makeup transformation, flawless makeup. It's called the affordable, flawless makeup transformation. Mm -hmm. Nikki Tutorials is amazing. She is an artist. Like, I know makeup artist, the word artist is in it, but like, she's a legitimate artist. This is like, seriously, like the most super, super simple glam look. I am clueless about makeup, so you and I are gonna do this together. This is a very rare sight. Um, I usually am wearing makeup. I've had skin problems my entire life, so I prefer to wear makeup. Um, but I've never done a makeup tutorial. First and foremost, I'm moisturizing my face because we don't put we don't put makeup on unmoisturized faces. We're all individuals, we're all unique, and uh, it's about letting us shine. It's going to be interesting. It's either going to go really, really well or really, really not well. So let's hope this works out, shall we? <laughs> Nikki, what do you have for me? How are you doing? Are you holding up? Lord knows I'm not. So a lot of you have been asking me for a neutral glam, like a neutral ultra glam, but on a budget. Get ready for the glam. Get ready for the transformation. A neutral ultra glam. For primer today, because not to prime is a crime. Uh, not to prime is a crime. Well, if not to priming is a crime, then Lock me up and put me in jail because I don't have primer. Today's video is going to show you how to look fire without busting the bank. It feels amazing. It feels like silk. It really does. It feels so smooth. Okay, we're off to a bad start. I don't know what primer is and I don't have it. I only use primer when I'm going somewhere really fancy and I want my makeup to stay on my face and not off like in two hours time. I just don't have primer, like I don't understand how it works. I don't get the point. I've tried a few, but they've never really worked for me. Oh my God, oh, it's totally just coming out. That's so gross, <laughs> it's like everywhere. Girl, I miss my makeup person. Guys, I use my fingers here. I'm not even gonna pretend like I'm one of those people. <laughs> my skin is gonna be unprimed. Mm. Guys, this is us like in the real in the flesh. I'm gonna look like a garbage dump fire. Oh, let's go, let's go. For foundation, I am using this right here. Foundation. I don't use foundation. I use BB cream. It's green because I am a naturally red person. Where my foundation at? I'm picking up that foundation on a beauty sponge. Sponge. Okay, I don't have a sponge. I have a lemon. I got my beauty blender, which really isn't clean, and I apologize. When life hands you lemons, <sighs> it's not dirty. That is the color. It comes this orange color. So, like, I'm not a nasty girl. Like, I wash my sponges. Make a face. Like a face, because that's the face you do when you eat lemon. Look at this. I have so many brushes. So many. Okay. <laughs> And I'm just gonna start tapping it in, up and down movements. Tap in the foundation in up and down movements, she says. Now a lot of people have different ways of, of getting the foundation onto the face. I quite like to use this brush. <laughs> Let's cover all of the nonsense that's in my face. Deal with those dark circles. I basically see makeup as a uh, wall paint getting myself ready for battle. Depending on how flawless you are naturally, uh, it's going to determine how much foundation you need to put on. Oh my. We are going to definitely improvise. La, 
improvisation, okay? <laughs> you wanna make sure that you blend the foundation all the way to every little corner that is visible on your face. Oh honey, if there is one thing that I know about makeup, it's how to blend my foundation into every little corner. Cause your girl had acne in high school, okay? <laughs> Always go down the neck, I believe. Just the beautiful way in which this is contouring with my face. I see a lot of people like leaving the house and then you can see that the colors are all weird. Forehead, or in my case, ten head. Problem is when you go in your hairline, you get makeup in your hair and then you can see it sticking there. You know when you don't like blend it into the hairline or you don't get it into like the jaw and then you've got this like <laughs> Try and avoid that. No, I'll try and... We're starting to see some uh, massive, massive beautiful enhancements. Get in there, get in there. Look guys, I'm probably feeling at this but I'm trying. <laughs> Which is wonderful. Look at that. That is fantastic. So this is clearly not my shade <laughs> anymore. Oh goodness, look at the shade difference. Magic! Fabulous, darling. Fabulous. Ooh, boy. Ooh, girl. Okay, Nikki, talk to me. Now it's time for concealer. Even the baddest among us still do get the odd blemish. What we're going to need to do is add some conceal to the face. Conceal, don't feel. That's what I like to say. I just hurt myself, like opening my new concealer. And I'm bleeding. How's makeup is not meant, it's not meant to be this dangerous. Maybe you have one of these laying around. I have the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. Oh. I thought this was a glam look on a budget. I don't buy concealer. Hopefully, I'm not doing it wrong. Wrong, wrong. Too wrong. Okay, where is she putting the concealer? Where did you put the concealer, Nikki? You know, really sort of, sort of blend in from the sides of where, uh, where you've done the other thing. We're looking lavish, baby. Looking lavish. It need to be noted that my concealer is extremely old and I don't actually use it anymore. If I come out in a rash after this, we know why. Oh, I don't know. The stuff dries really quickly and I just don't know what to do when that happens. Those makeup artists always make it look so fancy, like they do like a whole pattern and... Da -da -da -da. and they always make it look so pretty and look at mine. And that's just really going to start to create some beautiful magic on your face. Oh, that is pale. I haven't worn makeup, proper makeup like this for so long now. <laughs> hey, woman. Yeah, okay. Oh, all right. In a little bit, I'm going to bake my under eyes and set my entire Ow. face. Wait, we're doing powder. All around the eyes, all around the eyes. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Oh, up here, up here. Oh, it's so hot in Durban. I'm so sweaty. This is disgusting. Wow, I feel like I'm building up to like a solid cake face. <coughs> wow, you guys, are you seeing this? Big, 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 big. <sighs> that is way too much powder. Her powder does not look like this. It's like watching the Sistine Chapel being created in front of your face, onto someone else's face, my face. It's a wonderful thing. Okay, no, I need to dust some of this off. I look ridiculous. Loving it. Okay, what's next? Okay, I'm gonna go off camera for a little bit and do my brows. No! You can't just magically have eyebrows like that and not tell us how you did it. I hate it when they go off camera to do their brows. I don't know if anything I'm doing is right, but this is just what I do, so... <laughs> Does Nikki know that I'm in a rush? Okay! My favorite quote is that eyebrows aren't sisters, they're cousins. So they don't have to be identical. Nikki, you're not the only one with eyebrows, honey. Okay. Oh, also don't ask me about my broken mirror. All right. Okay. <laughs> and now it is time for a soft ultra glam makeup look. I look, I mean, I look just like her. So what I want to be doing is create that soft, smoky haze, that smoky lash line, and then a pop of shimmer on the lid. The first color I want to go in with 
feels like this shade right here. Is that like a pink? Peach? I don't have any kind of fancy uh, eyeshadow. I have this palette that um, my sister left behind when she moved out. This one is so pretty. One of my favorites for my saris. Excuse me, not the same, but it's kind of similar-ish. I'm gonna use Eden. I think that's the closest to what she's got. Now the thing with eyeshadow, of course, is it creates a shadow on the eye. Like this in my blush. I feel like my blushes are closer. I'm gonna use blush. I'm a risk taker. I feel like this one from NARS, it's actually called Orgasm. <laughs> All right, I'm picking up that shade and I'm stamping it into the crease. Stamp it on the crease. That sounds nasty. Okay, stamping it in. Okay, I'm stamping, I'm stamping, I'm stamping. Do you see anything happening here? I don't see anything happening here. Why am I so nervous? I'm so nervous to do this. <gasps> What am I doing? Crease, in the crease. Oh, I look like a superhero. I'm doing my own thing here now, goodness. Here's where I get stuck. I don't know how they get that nice crease line. It always looks so sweet. So I'm gonna do it my way. And I need to hurry up because the, uh, the, the space on my iPhone is gonna run away. Where my iPhone uses that, you know the struggle. Well, hey, that's subtle, but that is just that is just what you need. Somebody needs something. Hi, Mama. Okay, this is my... <laughs> Did you see this? <laughs> no makeup for you until you're at least 40, okay? And I'm just stamping that color onto that concealer base because that way the pigment is really going to adhere to the sticky concealer. Okay, something's happening. Stamp, 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 stamp. Okay, that's what I'm doing there, right? Clearly, I'm... Um not experienced when it comes to eyeshadow. <laughs> I look like I've been crying. Yeah, it's very subtly like that. You don't want too much of it. Fluff it up. Fluff it up. Look at that. That's wonderful. I don't know what's going on. What I really want in life, I want somebody who can do my makeup permanently. Like live in my house and go like Kim Kardashian. It's like snap, snap, make it happen. Okay. I'm just going to get that. Lay on the top there. Make sure to keep your eye closed while you're doing this. You don't want to get powder eye, as we in the game like to call it, but you just want to sort of brush that up against the top there. Do you think Nikki will be proud of me? I tried. I mean, it doesn't look too bad, but is that because I'm like... I don't know why, but this color is speaking to me. So I want to pick that up on a brush and put it down on my lid, but a little bit further up. <gasps> oh my God. Wow, Nikki. We're even doing that. You know what? She took like a shiny. I'm gonna go with cashmere. I'm gonna go with this one over here. That's the closest I've got to her glittery one. Okay. I mean, that is kind of close. I think I like got it caught in a bag or something and it like bend it so it's like a sad little brush. Anyway, she put silver here. Oh, you can barely see it. When you're a girl on a budget, makeup doesn't have an expiration date. Oh no, what have I done? Oh no. I don't know if this is right. Oh girl, that looks so good. Why can I not do that? <gasps> I told you, I'm gonna miss. Look, what is that? I feel like I look like a clown. I don't know if it's gonna look like hers, but there's something happening here. But like the deeper we're getting in, the more I'm realizing that just like, I do not have a skill set for this. The vibes. The vibes. The vibes. I'm so scared. I think I should call my mom. The amount of eyeshadow that's falling on my face. I have to pull my eye. I don't know how people do eyeliner and these things without pulling the eye. I pull my eye all the time, okay? Just need to get in there. Is my face just like wrong? Yeah, eyeshadow is definitely not my strong point. I think you're watching those hectic Bollywood serials. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so now it is time to smoke out the lash line. Because one of the key features of soft glam is a smoky lash line. And I'm gonna just start placing it very closely to the lash line and start getting smoky up in here. How far are we smoking? I'm gonna smoke, 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 smoke. Smoky, smoky, smoky. 
This is the only kind of smoking I do. <laughs> smoker, smoker. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. This is uncharted territory, okay? It's uncharted territory. I've never done, and you can see. I can tell you now for free. My left eye is not going to match the right eye. Basically, it looks like a hot freaking mess. Why do I think that like putting more on is going to help when it clearly is not helping? Is it happening? I don't know. Oh no, this is so bad. Oh no. What are you doing? Why? Why are you this way? Oh, I got it in my eye! <laughs> ah. Ow. I set myself an eye! In the eye! Don't go into your eyeball. Injury from makeup. That's what's happening right now. Okay, cool. Alright, cool. Oh. Sorry. I look like a little schnick. A little schmokam schnick. <laughs> I feel like I look like death. <laughs> oh, this is why I need to stick to radio. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do the other eye off camera, pop a lash on, I'll be right back for more. Mm, 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 mm. I am living for this glam. What happened? With the lashes? No, I don't have false lashes. How am I supposed to? I do not know how to stick the lashes on. I've got them. They look very pretty in my cupboard. Oh, lash glue. The next thing we're going to do, of course, is get those eyelashes looking on fleek. Now, you've got to be very careful when you do this, and you, you've really got to know what you're doing. Oh, shh. Nikki, you better be proud of me, girl. I've got these. Don't you think this is so weird? I'm literally taking fake hair and putting it on my eyelids. I feel like this eye is maybe not so bad. This eye. Shame, this eye went to private school. <sighs> Nikki goes off camera and puts her eyelashes on. I don't know if you can tell, but it's gotten a lot darker since uh, the last clip before I put the eyelashes on. And that is because we had a little bit of an incident, like a little bit of an eyelash glue incident. Oh my word! Okay, glue. Oh, this is what happens when you try to do everything at once. And I just had a full on <laughs> breakdown. No, I got it on my eyeshadow. This tutorial is advanced, I just want to say. Because I feel like, what if I'm somebody who doesn't know how to put on the eyelashes, Nikki? Huh, Nikki? No, that's perfect. I've got that just right there. You really, you really have to be very careful to know exactly what you're doing with this so that you don't stuff it up. The pain, the torture. And earlier on, I was going to sing for you and be like, oh, Nikki, you're so bad, you're so bad, you love my mind. But it's got to be just absolutely perfect. Look at that. Look how gorgeous that's looking. Time for bronzer! Bronzer! Bronzer. Why does she have an American accent if she's from the Netherlands? So I take the bronzer, I start from way up here, and then in circular motions, I bring it forward. I ain't got no bronzer. Bronzer, bronzer, bronzer. It is so old, it's like dying. Look on the inside there, can you see? You can see the bottom. I will just very gently do this over Mariah. Blend everything in together. All the work that we've done, it's all just gonna come together now. Watch this. Somebody call 911. Sushi's got their wrong brushes. I don't know what I'm doing in this case. Darling. Please look at your face and the way your sort of contours naturally fall. Is that why I'm bad at makeup? Like I just don't have the ability to like look at my face and understand my face shape. But you do it like where you would normally have the natural concavity of your face. We get rid of our little double chin situation. Ah, too much. Watch what is happening. This is, this is art, poetry in motion. You contour the nose and give yourself that perfect soft glam structured nose. Okay, we need to carve the nose. Rihanna, you better pull through for me. 
I've never contoured my nose. Why would I want this huge nose of mine to shine? It looks like a macaroni. Isn't that cute? Snatch, 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 snatch. I apologize to you, nose, for not being able to snatch you. A Kim Kardashian nose, people. Who doesn't want one of those? And you're left with a softly structured, contoured nose. When will I learn that more is not more? Too much, too little, too little, too much. I'm stopping. Someone take the powder away from me, please. Okay. This is a Flower Pots powder blush, and this one is in the color Peach Primrose. And we're just gonna blush from the side, pulling in. Blush. I love blush. Just putting it here, I think. I watch a lot of Drag Race, so I should actually know how this stuff works. Really just kind of using the powder to let the face rest and let everything come together magically, like the beauty that you are. Mostly on the side of the face. How is this soft glam exactly? <laughs> oh, look at you! I walk up like this, flawless. I did not wake up like this. One of the essential key parts of a soft glam look is a nude overline lip. So if you're against it, do your thing, do your own thing with your lips. I'm just gonna create my own. I am gonna line and fill in my lips. Girl, I'm against it. I'm against the lip liner, the... Mm -mm. Hold on, home skillet, calm down there. It's kind of similar, color-wise. Cause Nikki had that whole like dewy vibe, can't do that. She was like dropping oil and stuff. Guys, we are going to do what? Lip gloss. It's also nudes, I'm sure. You know, I feel like I already look a little bit like a clown. So like, why not just go full clown? <laughs> ah! Little thin little lippies. Sometimes I think this would be easier if I, much like Kylie Jenner, decided when I was 15 to get lip fillers. I feel like the world has stopped. I don't remember a time before starting the Sneaky Tutorials. Tutorial. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Not bad, huh? Maybe I should do my lips more often. Me having a whole vein moment here. And to seal the deal and set everything, I'm going in with this setting spray by Catrice. I don't have spray either, so. Okay, I don't have a setting spray, so that means we're done. Ta da! Married! And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. There we have it, my glow babies. This is a soft, glam, smoky, ultra sexy look on a budget. Let's see how we can reveal. <laughs> Screenshot this. I want to thank you so much for watching today. Here we go. Do my hair. Pose. As you can see, I look just like Nikki's tutorials, and um, I really hope that you've enjoyed watching today. Thank you so much. Make sure to stay tuned for more makeup tutorial tips from me.